Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sheree and today I'm going to review some body lotion. So as part of my self-care routine that I've revamped through the COVID lockdown period, I thought it was time to check out some new body lotions to see if there's something that I can swap out and use for the long term or try or you know kind of review just to see what's going on and what's going out there i've been using lotions from the dawn of time since my body my body was creaming since my mom was using lotions to cream my body and then i did it myself i've um used astral i use razak remember razak don't know if you know about razak that's like a in my head i call it like a Caribbean lotion. It's, you know, very highly fragrant. It's not very moisturizing to say the least. It is for a little bit and then it just goes, but it's very fragrant. People, some people like it, some people don't. I can't remember if I like it or not anymore because I, I used to smell it so often. Um, and I've used cocoa butter, Palmer's cocoa butter. I've used an array of different products. In 2012, I, when I cut my hair, I started to pay attention um, to the ingredients list a lot more and decided to drop Astral, which I really liked um, because it had too much mineral oil, had petroleum, had all sorts of crap ingredients that I don't want to put on my skin once I learned about them and I tried other different lotions that might have not been as good as moisturising or keeping my skin feeling soft but I then started to make my own shea butter lotion cream whipped thingamajig that I would apply to my body after I would apply the cream which was really like inexpensive because you would buy the shea butter and the shea the, sh the cocoa butter in a bulk and mix them with the oils so it had like that nice creamy consistency and I would just apply that on top of my body lotion so I still do that now to this day because I have been still using like lotions that have been under five pounds using Palmer's cocoa butter but it's not cocoa butter it's palmer's coconut lotion with the no um sulfates and silicone and stuff like that which is not too bad but here i digress because i am reviewing shea moisture's line and i was really excited to see it i've seen shea moisture in boots for a very 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 a long time um the lotion line but because it was 10.99 10.99 okay I said, no, 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 no. You ain't getting my 1099 money. I'm not doing it. But this year when I saw it again with through my self-care, you know, I'm trying to do my, you know, spruce up my self-care routine. I thought it was worth a try. So I bought all five of them, okay, for five pound fifty. I was well impressed. I was very impressed. I just bought them, snatched them all. So with Shea Moisture, they I'm very confident using their brand because they don't use any sulfates, no mineral oils, no um, propylene glycol, propylene glycol, no phthalates or pallets or phthalates. I think it's phthalates. So okay, I'm just gonna put the word here. Um, so I'm really confident using a lot of their products because then I don't have to worry about those types of ingredients affecting my skin you know i try to you know reduce the amount of chemicals or harsh things i use on my skin and um, depending on what the product is if i can even if it costs a few more pennies because i'm just I'm, I'm more grateful in the long term okay so i've ranked all of the shea moisture lotions from the ones that i least liked to the ones that i liked the most i liked all of the shea moisture lotions they all hydrate they all make my skin feel soft and smooth but they all have a little differences in the types of lotions to which will which will help me to decide which one that i will buy again so in a, in, in all honesty i would probably buy them all again but there's ones that are some that are my favorites some of my favorites the one that i really liked so let's get into the review so the first product that i'm going to talk about is the african water mint and ginger detox body lotion which is really nice i felt that it was quite refreshing when i used it in the summer when it was hot outside though i wasn't going anywhere <laughs> apart from work and sleeping but it gave a quite it's like a a cooling sensation because most probably because of the peppermint that's in there the product is very thick which again I really liked it smells like peppermint I can't really smell the ginger in the product but it's very fresh 
very refreshing smell and scent. I use all of the lotions on wet skin or damp skin, which I normally do anyway when I come out of the shower, just to help, you know, with hydration and to seal everything in. And I feel like it helps me smooth the lotion all over my body. So I, I do tend to like to put the lotion on damp or wet skin rather than dry skin. I have, obviously I put it on dry skin anyway, but that's my preference. So um, this one says, um, rejuvenate skin with the invigorating body lotion. Shea butter, shea butter deeply moisturizes with vitamins and essential fatty, fatty acids, while African water mint creates a cool and invigorating scent. And it does, so I quite like that one. Next up is the African Black Soap Soothing Body Lotion with oats and aloe and vitamin E. Um, this one was, um, I feel like it was thicker than the, the, the previous one that I mentioned. And this one is for severely dry skin. You see that, this is the label that I like. You know when I'm looking for a lotion or anything like that or any products, especially with hair and skin, this is what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for the label that just tells me who are you for? What skin type are you for? I like it because I know it might work it might not work, but it probably will work. I used this one quite a bit, actually, because I forgot at one point that I was trying to get through my lotions to review them. Again, this one is very thick. It doesn't even move at all. Like, if you keep it like, it doesn't even move. You have to really shake it to get it out. I'm not a really big fan on the fragrance. I, al I always feel like it smells like a an older person. Like, I don't know. It smells like, you know, that type of suitcase that my, you know, my mum has all the Caribbean objects in, you know, because, you know, I feel like they, you know, she does that quite a bit, you know, just things from the past. And it's not a horrible smell, it's like a florally, oaty type smell. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, it's not, it's not overly horrible, once it's on the skin it doesn't linger as such because it's very, it's very, very minor, the smell, but it could be just like the oats that's in this cream, but this cream was very, it was very good and it was it was very hydrating and it, I felt like, well, let's, let's just start from the beginning. It was very moisturizing to the skin. It was very good. I can't lie. I felt like it lasted majority of the day when I was using the cream. It wasn't my favorite just because of the smell really. Like I said, it's not a powerful smell, the cream. You can't really smell it when you're in boots because it's got one of those little, silver capsule over it so you can't really smell it when you're in the shop apart from when you buy it but i did i did feel like it did its job moisturizing the elbows the kneecaps everything but it's just the smell that i didn't really like the back says smooth all over uh, body to hydrate and soothe skin best results when applied to damp skin from damp skin for moisture retention so yeah i did I don't know, I probably would buy it again because I know that it will do the job, hands down. But mainly because of the smell, you know, when you have your lotion, you kind of want to smell fantastic. You know, I'll probably use it at night or something like that. I know that's a lie, I'll use it throughout the day. But, you know, I normally use my body oil over all my creams anyway, which I haven't used whilst, I, whilst I'm reviewing these products because I wanted to know how these, you know, how well these did without using my body oil so it was it was quite good but it wasn't my favorite i will say with that one the next one i'm going to review is the coconut and hibiscus illuminating body lotion with songi mushrooms and this one is for dull skin now i've used this one quite a bit again i really like this smell because they have with all of these um, lines they have a collection with hair products shower gel exfoliating stuff with the line so i know that i was going to like this smell anyway because it's a product that i've used in the past again it's very thick it's not moving at all you've got to really right or like i said you've got to really shake the bottle to get it out the fragrance is very sweet, it smells like coconut, smells like the tropical, not the tropical because it doesn't smell like the Caribbean, I know what that smells like, but it does smell like, like tropical fruits but mostly like coconutty scent. I really like this because of the smell, I felt like it was very hydrating, it was very moisturising. I would definitely buy this one again, mostly because of the smell and mostly because it does 
kind of the same things that the other collection does apart from the African black soap I felt like this was much more it was slightly more thicker and it just lasts a lot longer on the skin but uh, and the back says on here smooth this ultra rich coconut and hibiscus lotion all over the body concentrating on the dull dry areas for best results apply it on damp skin for moisture retention which I already do anyway so I, li I really like this one it was really nice the next one is the Shea Moisture 100%. The next one I'm going to review is the 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Body Lotion, which softens and restores skin. I really liked this one. It was a little bit lighter than the previous one. It Actually, it was the same consistency as the Coconut and Hibiscus lotion but I really like this because I felt like it hydrated my skin I didn't have any dryness I didn't have any dryness with any of them which is really good it, like I said it only has minute differences between them this one I felt like it was a little bit more you know smoother more easier to kind of glide onto the skin again it doesn't move when you tip it upside down and I really enjoyed the smell it smells like coconuts like fresh coconuts I wouldn't say fresh coconuts because I know what fresh coconut smells, but it, it does smell fa fairly fresh, like coconut water. Um, and I really like this one. Kind of does what it says on the tin. Wasn't really different from the other ones apart from the smell. It was just a little bit more, you know, easier to apply to the skin. You didn't have to rub it in very very hard and this one doesn't really say much smooth lotion all over your skin after a bath or a shower or use as a massage cream that's probably because it's probably a little bit more loose in texture compared to the other one but it does smell quite fresh quite like coconuts so I, I like this one for that for that reason for the smell the next one is my favourite one, which is the Shea Butter Hydrating Body Lotion with Frankincense and Myrrh, and this one is for dry skin. I really like this one. It smells quite earthy. I remember that. It smells quite earthy, which you probably will, would do with the Frankincense and Myrrh. For dry skin, very thick. I've used this one the most. And with this one, I didn't. I felt it a little bit with the the, the African Black Soap version with this one I felt very hydrated very moisturized I don't know if it's because it's got quite a bit of glycerin in this this product but I felt like it was just I felt I just felt really moisturized it just felt and my skin felt really soft um yeah and I just felt like I had to kind of look at the products again and just to see if I actually put any other product on my skin I felt like it was it was that good I, I really enjoyed using this a lot I like the smell not everybody would probably like the smell because it smells quite earthy and quite I don't know holistic and it's not overly power you know overly powerful the smell at all but I really like this one I really felt like it moisturized all crevices of the skin where I applied it I haven't tried this under my body oil which I will start to do now because I feel like that would you know spruce the whole thing the whole lotion up but I, 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 can't, I can't even say without you know with huge difference with the other ones but I feel like with the glycerin probably that's in this 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 lotion and other hydrating factors I really felt like this lotion last all day all day I again I feel like it does have some comparisons with the African black soap because this one is for severely dry skin yeah I just really I just I just really like this and I can't even say like what is the you know the the huge difference of why I favor this one the most I feel like with my skin when I applied it on my skin I felt like it just lasted a lot longer than the other three that I use with the African black soap like I said it's more the difference with the smell that I didn't really like but all of the Shea Moisture line I felt like it was hydrating and it, and it moisturized it's just mostly probably the consistency that is a little bit different the, the they are all thick as 
in terms of you know lotion consistency but some of them are a little bit more you know silkier than others like the coconut line and the coconut and hibiscus line but with the raw shea butter line I just felt it just lasted all day and especially when I applied it on you know my damp skin after you know having a shower I just felt like it just helped tremendously I just love I just really love this one I would definitely buy this again even if it's 10.99 because really it just a little bit goes a long way it lasts a long time it's very thick which I like I hadn't used it with my body oil which I'm going to use on top and I'm just really excited to use it I'm just really excited to use it so this one says our deeply hydrating blend of shea butter frankincense and myrrh helps intensely nourish and moisturize skin which I can vouch for let me tell you concentrate on rough and dry areas including feet knees and heels for best results apply to damp skin for moisture retention and i can say that this product does what it says on the tin and that's why it's my favorite and that's why i've used it the most and that's why i'm so excited to continue using this product and added it to my staple products i can i just i just i just really love it i just really enjoy using it and pushing it all over my skin and rubbing it in i'm just so excited for the product i'm so excited just to use it but that is all the products that i'm going to review today the shea moisture lotions i can say if you do try one you probably won't be disappointed apart from it being very thick and having to use a lot of strength to get everything out of the bottle but they are fantastic they are the best lotions that i've tried for a very very long time i must say that and yeah that is the products all wrapped up and done so if you want to watch any more videos from me click some videos here and other than that i shall see you in the next video oh yeah don't forget to subscribe